Well, what are sort of your opinions of the game today? Um, well, I thought the guys' effort was good. That, that's kind of what we've been talking about, effort, technique. Um, you know, what you saw now, the coaches are off the field. They're in real situations. Uh, they're playing fast. They're playing live. Uh, there were still some, there, there's plenty of mistakes in there that we have to correct, which is a good thing. You can go back and look at it and go, all right, when we practice and we're going to get into these real game situations, we need to practice like that a little bit more. And that's what I told them at halftime. You know, kind of, we kind of talk about a cycle of a snap. You know, you got to get the information from the sideline, look at the down and distance before you ever go out there and play uh, the next play. And so I thought we did okay at that, um, but we can get better. And, and everybody's in agreement with it. So that's the one thing. You know, we leave here, hey, this is what we got to keep improving on. Uh, but overall, this spring ball has been really good. Uh, these guys have worked hard. This is a fun team. It's, they're fun to be around, uh, really good personalities. They work hard. You can coach them. They listen. They respond. Uh, and so just overall, I thought you know, our spring ball was really good. And today was a, a pretty solid finish. Defense, I thought, played well. Uh, you saw some guys flying around, some good hits, opportunities to create turnovers. Um, I'd like to see the offense, you know, be a little bit more consistent. You know, that's probably the biggest thing. There was plays there to be made, uh, but enough mistakes in there that just on offense, you know, one or two guys, it becomes a problem. <laughs> Special teams, solid. You know, we we're kind of doing a, we called it Warrior versus Gladiator. So we're doing some teams that were independent of Boise State and the Broncos, the way we had it set up. But those guys transitioned well. I uh, saw the punt returners. Uh, Joel, after the one that veered off to the right quite a bit, you know, got back on track. So in the wind and the conditions and all that, I thought the guys responded special teams-wise pretty well. What did you think of Brett Rippin's performance today? Uh, solid. You know, I don't know the numbers and all that. Solid. You know, I mean, the one thing, you know, I always pay attention to that position quite a bit. And, you know, you want to go out there and, and you want to see just, you know, lighten it up and completion after completion. But, you know, there's also guys – doing some of the things they shouldn't be doing you know we got to run the right route you know we do have to catch the ball and uh, we haven't played in the wind we haven't played in the rain yet so to me this was a, a great opportunity to come out here and just have another element that we have to deal with along with the crowd uh, but Brett overall in camp he's led well he's he's competed well he did today you know I know he wants to go out there and, and, and throw a bunch of touchdowns but he's got to operate the offense and he did that with the guys he had out there so you know, that's a way, that's a learning opportunity for him. You mentioned the defense. Uh, you know, a lot of newcomers back there in the, yeah. in the back seven. Uh, what did you think of that group today? I know only one official turnover, but it seemed like their hands were close to the ball a lot. <clears throat> they were flying around. Yeah, that, that's a, you, know, you can talk about experience and all that. Those guys are flying around. I think Mike Young, you know, they, they tried to take some shots on him, and, you know, he's got guys locked down in the boundary. You know, Mike's a guy that's going to really help us on the defensive side, and then, I think the safeties, they're, they're filling on the run. They're, they're playing play action. Uh, they are getting their hands on the ball. Avery Williams, I thought, played well today. He was around the ball quite a bit. Um, our secondaries come around. You know, I think Coach Franklin, Coach Ambrose have done a really good job. We, you know, we're still young. The experience is not there. But if those guys will keep playing like that, and you can get those corners like Horton and Mike Young playing well, that's going to help us in the back end. What did you think of that, that wide receiver group today? It seemed like Jefferson had a couple opportunities. Yeah, he, he was good. You know, those guys have all been solid. We, you know, Sed's not out there. Sed Wilson not playing. Um, he's a big key ingredient, you know, to the, the wide receiver crew. But those guys have stepped up. Uh, Brian, uh, Brian Jefferson played well. You know, Sean was okay today. Um, and the other guys, you know, A.J. Richardson, I thought made some plays, a couple plays out there. But... Overall, that group, you know, it's still got to elevate. We still got to play better, <clears throat> and we get said back. You know, that's going to help us. But you know, that group knows that, and we and they've been, you know, Killian's had a little bit of a hamstring. AJ Richardson had a little bit of a hamstring. Those guys are all kind of hampered, a little bit. Um, but I did think they competed, and I thought they came out here and, and they did make some plays. We just got to make a few more. Who are, the, who are the guys that, you know, that really have caught your eye this spring? You know, and now that we're kind of you know done with with spring ball, yeah. who were the guys that you think maybe took the biggest step for you? Um, Leighton Vanderesh, you know, he's he's just uh, he's taking his game to another level and, and his leadership ability. Mike Young on the defensive side, uh, Keikoa, I think has played really well. Um, DeAndre Pierce, you know, is a smart football player. We played him at nickel, we played him at corner, we played him at safety. Now we got him at field safety. Uh, I think he's really stood out. David Moa, you know, and, and the defensive line in general. But David Moa has been a guy that I think has played really well. Offensive side, young guys, Ezra Cleveland. He was playing left tackle today. I think he's going to be a good player. And, 
he's got to get some more experience, you know, and just get in the film room and learn a little bit. Um, and then I think Jake Constantine, you know, <clears throat> yeah, he struggled a little bit today, but he's had a good spring practice, um, good spring ball. And, you know, I've been happy with his performance. You know, wide receiver wise, Brian Jefferson getting him back. It's good to have him back. AJ, until he got hampered a little bit, was, uh, was doing really well. So there's quite a few guys, but, um, you know, some of the newcomers, Mike Young, you know, I've been happy with his performance and, and what he's able to do. I think of an emphasis uh, this offseason will just be on continuing to get healthy and whatnot because, I mean, it just feels like, you know, the team that is going to arrive in August will probably look different than the team that, you know, you're at here today. Yeah, yeah, and you got some of the new guys coming in too. You know, I, I know at the linebacker position, uh, Joseph Enda when he gets in here, Braden Boyd when he gets in here, those guys are going to help out. Uh, you get the old line back. You know, we got some young guys, and, and let me say this: we, we got those guys that have played for us, Archie, Mason, Molchon. You know, those guys that are out, Garrett Larson. But these young guys stepped up. I thought Dante Harrington. You know, that was one guy. You asked me about guys that stepped up. Dante Harrington, I think, had a great spring practice. Um, he did really well, and you know, those guys are going to have great competition when they all come back and they're all healthy, which is good for us. Speaking of health, uh, we saw Jake Rowe wearing the boot when he came back. Yeah. But how disappointing, I don't know if you have an update on him, but how disappointing, too, with finally having him back healthy? Yeah, I think just a high ankle sprain, you know, um, so he'll be okay. But, yeah, you know, Jake's a guy that he's such a good player. You know, we want to keep him healthy. He had that knee injury last year, so when he limps off, you know, nobody's happy about that. But he's, he's going to be okay. We'll get him healthy. It's frustrating for him. Um, but like I, the one thing about Jake is, is he handles it so well. I know it's disappointing, but he said, I'll be fine. And he came back out in the boot, so we'll get him going and um, we'll have him healthy for the summer and, and then for fall camp. And he's a guy that, you know, you guys watch him out here. He's a big part of what we want to do and uh, we need to keep him healthy. Look at uh, Avery uh, Williams, what he's able to do this. Uh, yeah. You know, he says it brings good energy. You know, walk on kid. He's, he's playing, he's out here. He doesn't have like a name plate on, but he seems to be in the right spot most of the time. And yeah. I, mean, I know there's a lot of good stories, but are there, are there yeah. certain stories that just like, as a, as a coach, it's kind of like, you know, more joyous, I guess, to watch? Well, he's, ever since he's got here, you know, he is. He's a, he's a guy that brings it every day. It means something to him. Um, and he has made plays. You know, so he's going to play for us. He'll be, he's back there um, at punt returner. He's out there playing nickel for us right now. And um, yeah, he's a guy that we expect to be out there playing for us and, uh, and playing for us early in the season. So if that continues, you know, he's one of those guys that had an opportunity to come here and, and uh, get his shot and he's taking advantage of it. I know the rules change a little bit, but what, you can meet with the guys a little bit and stuff over the summer. But what are yeah. a couple of things that you leave with this team that when they, you meet up August 1st or whenever camp starts, you, you, you want to have happen in the next three, four months? Well, yeah, we, we got to grow. I mean, we, we just have to, we, we got to get in there and watch film. We have to study the game. And that, that's one thing. I think practice, you know, efforts there, techniques there. <clears throat> you start getting into real situations, just down in distance. We're, it's third and 10, and we got a corner pressed. You know, there's some things in there. We talk about common sense. It's not common sense. You know, it's knowing the situations. And they got to understand that, but they got to be able to do it fast and they got to do it every single down and, and know when you're in that third down, fourth down, second down. Um, I just think our experience right now, we lack that. You know, we're, we're kind of on the defensive side, kind of playing first and 10 all the time. You know, the drive starts and we're just playing. Well, we need to be. Uh, more knowledgeable about the situations. And then offensively, same thing. You know, we had third and six, third and seven. We're trying to throw a deep ball, which is a really low percentage when we got an easy uh, completion to get a first down. So we don't need that big play right there right away. We need a first down. And I just think that guys understand the situations is going to help us. You know, they can execute, they can make plays, but, you know, that was one thing that stood out to me today. We just, in certain situations, we were not operating you know, as a very smart football team. And so the off is going to be all about that, you know, watching tape, learning, teaching these guys and the coaches too, like getting them to understand, here's the expectations when we're in these situations. This is what you need to do. If we don't have it, all right, then here's the next step. And uh, we're just not there yet. What's the biggest thing you feel like you guys accomplished for spring practice? Much better at our technique. Yeah, I, I think overall, just fundamentally, we're a better football team. Um, you know, now we got to physically get better. You know, we got to get faster, stronger, jump higher, and all that. But technique-wise, that was one big emphasis, and we we did get better at it. Um, 
But like we were just saying, you know, just the football intelligence, the situational stuff, you know, we're not there yet. But these guys understand stance, start, hand placement, uh, footwork. You know, that's been much better. You talked about this being a fun team, and I was mentioning to Leighton, you know, I think <coughs> toward the end, Reisdorf had a scramble, and Leighton ran off the sideline, you know, and kind of, you know, grabbed him a little bit. Yeah. But, uh, you know, each team's identity yeah. is different, but, you know, what have you noticed about that with this team, and, and how does that help? And, you know, teams you've been around before, how successful are those teams? Yeah, well, when guys are having fun, it's a whole lot easier to go out there and push yourself, um, which you need to to get better. And, you know, it's things like that. I mean, they, they're really enjoying playing the game. And so when you got guys like that and, and you're getting into a, a, a tough part of practice or, you know, guys are getting a little bit fatigued, you know, they'll pick each other up and you're not going to lose reps in a practice that you might if, you know, everybody's complaining or, you know, you don't have great energy on the team. We just have great energy. So I think our practices have been efficient. I think these guys have been fun to be around. You know, as a coaching staff, when you go out there and guys are bouncing around, they're excited to be out there. I mean, it's just a different vibe. And we've had that before. Uh, but I just think this group, uh, this crew, they're, they want to do well. They want to win. They want to be successful. They want to get better. And heck, when you got that, like in any job, that's fun just to be around that. And this is what this group is. Was there a question or two or position group coming into the spring that you wanted to have an answer to or have a better feeling about or feel more happy about going <laughs> into the summer that that maybe did yeah. happen for you or, or didn't happen? Or? Yeah, no, really all of them. I, you know, it's... It, the wide receiver position, there's a lot. I mean, I won't just pick one out. I, I think I felt that way about all of them. You know, I mean, we're not, we have so far to go, in my opinion, uh, in a good way. You know, so when these guys come back on Monday and they get in the weight room and they start lifting, you know, it all starts over. You know, we get back into to, uh, our off-season workouts. The summertime, how they're going to attack the PRPs and what we do and then getting ready for fall camp, it's, if we'll keep the same energy and the same mentality we have going right now, yeah, when we get into August, we'll be in good shape. We'll be ready to go attack fall camp and, and be a better football team by September 2nd. That's what I fully expect. Uh, but tons of question marks. Get our O-line back. Now where are we at? You know, the D-line. I feel like we got depth, but we got to find the right combination. Wide receiver. You know, we got to get guys healthy. And then... We get said back, now who are the top three, four guys? Tight ends, how much are we going to use them? You know, we tried to use them today, and they did some good things, and then we had some mistakes. But if we're going to use those guys as much as we want to, they got to know everything. Uh, the back end, we feel like we're doing a good job there, but, you know, the depth still isn't there. So there's, there's a lot of question marks, you know, and we won't quite know until we get some of these new guys here in the summertime and we find out what freshmen can play, what junior college guys that are coming in can play. And, what that does for our depth. We saw Reisdorf's uh, kind of mobility there at the end of the game. Yeah. And is that something that, that fans maybe can expect in fall of, of him getting in on some goal line packages? Yeah, yeah, he can run. Yeah, he can run out there. I mean, he's a little bit different than the other guys we got. So, you know, you saw it, and if we can utilize that, we will. You feel pretty good overall, though, about the spring? I mean, do you feel like? I do. Yeah, I do. I feel like, I feel like uh, as far as the coaching staff, you know, the new guys that we we got coming in here, uh, did a really good job. I feel like our meetings, teaching, our preparation um, was very good, and I felt like our team responded to that. So, yeah, I do. I don't really – I didn't feel like there was really any major issues that we had this spring, just a lot of little things, you know. We're just – we're going to keep working on it, but overall um, everybody's aligned as far as what we're trying to accomplish. And we can all agree and sit there, and if, if we had a bad day, then – we had a bad day, we all agree, you know, but we're gonna do something about it. And guys aren't, well, it's because of this and because of that, you know, nobody's doing this. It's, you know, you're looking at yourself and you gotta find a way to get better. And I felt everybody did that. And to me, you know, getting a chance to kind of step back and watch that, you know, that, that's what gets me excited. If everybody's into getting better, then we got a shot.